Hello everyone, it's me, Bryson P, and welcome to another video. I'm glad that you are here, and I'm glad to be here. And I hope that maybe there's a lot better video quality, because I got a new video camera. I plan on doing a couple videos today, but it took a little bit longer to get that camera set up than I anticipated, so... We're gonna get one. Also, um, I did have a post, a community post the other day, I believe it was Saturday, about the, um, the Western Kentucky State Fair. I was there, that rhymes. But I was there, and um, I took quite a bit of video, and I also made a post about it saying that I would have a video because I do want to show you all my life. You know, if I'm exploring your country, your world, and the things that that are going on over there that I've never experienced, then it would only be right to kind of share that same thing and the give and take. You know, that that's what a lot of this is about, the give and take, and to help you guys understand also where I came from where I came from and come from and currently currently live and all those other things and the life that that is mine. So that way we can have a better understanding of what's really going on in this world and not just that, but just a better understanding of how different we all are as human beings. So before I get into today's video, because today's video is chosen because of this. You know, I had this video actually I had this video on my uh, watch later because I had this ready and I wanted to see it. Um, but I heard this song a couple of uh, I heard this song actually a few weeks ago, probably like two, three weeks ago, around two, three o'clock in the morning. And it was on the, the TV station MTV, if you're familiar with that. But I was, you know, either awake, halfway asleep, you know, somewhere in between. But I heard this song, and I liked it. And then, didn't think anything of it. A couple of days later, I heard again, because it's only just for a brief few seconds. You know, it's just a little, like, in between on commercials real quick, just a little snippet, you know, to try and get your attention of, you know, they're trying to advertise a new artist or something. After I heard it three or four little times, like I said, they only play like 10, 30, you know, 10, maybe 20 seconds of it. But I, I decided to look it up because I liked it. And this was four or five days ago. I looked it up, and again, this was 2, 3 in the morning, and I, I played it on my phone, and I really, I, I mean, I just, I really, 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 really enjoyed it. And then I seen that there was the actual real version. Not, not that this isn't a real version, because this is the acoustic version, and then there's also the official video and the official, you know, real music video event version. But when I heard that, it was like, yeah. So I have been listening to the song over and over. I listen to it multiple times a day. And it's just, it helps me also with, with my feelings, you know, and things that I struggle with on a daily basis. So I wanted to also share this with you guys. And because the the reason why is, is it's crazy. Um, I think it was, what's today, Sunday? So this would have been yesterday morning, actually. It was, it was Saturday morning. And... Um, it was on TV and they had a little interview, just a little like 30 second interview with this girl. And she said that she was from Norway and it was just like, everything stopped. I'm like, hold up, what? And because at that point it was just like, hold on now. Cause uh, it's, it's crazy how, and it's amazing how, you know, whenever you start to be sensitive to things and to start really paying attention to what's going on around you, the more you pick up on all these little cues. And that's that's really honestly how my life has always been and, and why I try to listen way more than I talk. I talk a lot more now because I'm getting so much more comfortable with you guys. But there's girls from Norway and it was crazy because I've just been listening to this song over and over and like I, you know, and, and on my way to work and while I'm at work and then I'm way home and it's just a, I love this song really. And find out then just like boom i'm from norway and so anyways i wanted i want you guys to know if you don't know who this is this is the girl in red and the song is serotonin this is the mtv uh little version kind of i'm just gonna play a couple seconds of it because i don't want to get copyright or anything but yeah i want to play this right quick and so, so so that way you guys see and if you haven't heard this or you're not familiar with who she is then there you go. There's an artist for you to look at and potentially maybe, you know, help boost her out because on her official page, I believe she only has like not even, you know, not even 2 million subscribers yet. So 
Anyway, here we go. Running low on serotonin. Chemical imbalance got me twisting things. Stabilize with medicine. Okay. I don't want to play too much of it because I don't want to get copyright or anything like that. Um, and then I'll play this right quick. Stabilize with medicine. I got intrusive thoughts like cutting my hands off. Like, so I'm capitulating. Okay, I don't want to play too much of it because, like I said, I'm not trying to get copyrighted or anything. But yeah, so check her out. If you've not heard of her yet, or if she, you know, I've, heard, I've seen that she's, you know, progressively getting bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, 1.89 million subscribers. But you know, she's getting bigger and whatnot. But I'm an American and I'm I'm pushing her because just the 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 reason behind it. I don't. I connect with it so. That's why. Anyways, so today's video is going to be about Visit Norway, 10 things that will shock you about Norway. We're going to go back to Walter's World and check out another video. This will be my second video reaction to Walter's World. Alrighty, here we go. Now that we've got a little bit of that out of us. and <sighs> Okay, here we go. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Hello. Oslo, Norway, for the 10 things that will shock you about visiting Norway. And the first thing that's going to shock you about visiting Norway is the, oh my God, it is so expensive here, nature of everything in Norway. Food, hotels, restaurants, uh, clothing, transport, everything. I mean, literally, Norway is a once-in-a-lifetime experience because you can only afford it once in a lifetime. And that's going to be the first biggest shock you're going to have when you come here is how expensive it is. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of you guys would agree, would disagree with, with saying that it's a once in a lifetime thing because it costs so much that you can only come here once. You know what I'm saying? I don't necessarily think that I would agree with that because from what I've learned up to this point, well, maybe visiting, especially for me, the cost of it might be where it would be extremely hard for me to visit more than once. So maybe you are right, Walter. You probably are right. But if I was to ever live there, it'd probably be a lot easier for me to stay there. But yeah, I guess you are right. For me, Mr. Kentucky slash Tennessee border boy, you know, it'd be a little hard. But uh, anyways, also, this video uh, from Walter, the, t uh, the 10 things that will shock you about Norway, it's also from 2016. So this video is, what, five years old at this point? or close to it depending on the actual published date so keep that in mind i'm sure things have changed and there will be things that maybe walter talks about or things that are shown in here that are different so let's keep that in mind and, and bear that as well so for the second thing that's going to shock you in norway i thought i'd come and give you a nice little better view of some of the nature out here and the second thing you're going to get shocked when you come to norway is the natural beauty and the fjords that are here, man, you, you don't understand. You see them in YouTube videos like mine. You see pictures of them, but until you actually go and see the fjords, you're not as shocked as impressed as when you go there. So make sure when you do come to Norway, you do get a chance to take a boat ride out, see the fjords and see the nature here. You can go skiing, you can go hiking, you can do all kinds of stuff. Going on the boat trips, it's really great to get out there and really- Hey, um, real quick, and I got an itch, man. Real quick. So up until about a week ago, I thought that the Norwegian cruise lines was actually Norwegian. Uh, I thought that it was, um, you know, like a legit, like it was a Norwegian company and everything else. I didn't realize that, yeah, they were nowhere close to that. I think they're based out of Miami, Florida, if I'm correct. Um, Adam Aaron used to be the CEO of Norwegian Cruise Lines, actually, and he's now the CEO of AMC Theaters, but that's not here or there. Explore the nature here, and it does kind of shock you how beautiful the nature is here in Norway. The third thing that might shock you when you come here is how hard it is to get a beer, not at a restaurant. Now, as you know, I've said before, Norway is insanely expensive. Remember, once in a lifetime because you can only afford it once, okay? But trying to find a beer when you're here, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're in Sweden or Denmark and you can go to 7-Eleven and pick up a beer, a cheaper beer than at the bars. Here, it's not so simple. You want to get alcohol, you got to go to the, the, the alcohol monopoly here in Norway and get your stuff there. It has very limited hours. So it's a little bit different. So even though it's all Scandinavian countries, um, you guys are still individual countries where, like he said, so like in Sweden, Denmark, it'd be a little bit easier. 
but here you know it would be a little bit more strict that's kind of like where i live currently i mean like i've said before i could pretty much go get alcohol liquor beer from anywhere just about any time grocery store pharmacy grocery store i think it's just a grocery, convenience store you know it, it's everywhere um except for on sundays but now i can drive 20 minutes to tennessee and i can get it on sundays as well but where i used to live in arkansas um, it was, they had a, so well, the state, you know, is obviously free reign, but then on the county level, the county I lived in is actually called a dry county because there's absolutely no alcohol sales whatsoever. You can't buy alcohol from any restaurant. You can't buy it from any place. There's no alcohol sales whatsoever. Now you can have it. You can go to the next county over and buy all you want and then bring it back and have it like that, you know, and possess it, have it at home, have a party, drink, get drunk, whatever you want to do. But you can't buy uh, alcohol from any establishment whatsoever in that county. So that's kind of what I'm getting is, is there's, there's like that, right? So if you're looking to have a few beers before you go out, make sure you're shopping much earlier in the day to get that because getting a beer here that's not 15 bucks, sadly, is shockingly hard to do. The fourth thing that will shock you when you come here to Norway is how proud the people are of Norway and all things Norwegian. Yes, they do have some really cool stuff here. Like I said, the fjords and the natural beauty is great. You should be very proud of that. But for tourists, what's really cool when you come here about this national pride is they have fantastic local museums. The Viking Ship Museum and the Folk Museum here in Oslo are fantastic. You go around the country, go to the festivals in the, in the summer. That's the key thing. In the summer, go to the festivals. It's a little chilly outside of that. Go there. You see them dressed up in their traditional garb and these kind of things. And the national pride they have from their dances to their costumes to their history to their food, which means, yes, you're going to have to eat a quick lunch, which is basically a Kit Kat. It's a Norwegian quick Kit Kat. I've had it. It tastes like a Kit Kat and it looks like a Kit Kat, but they're very proud of it. So that might be a little shock of you is how proud they are of their country, you know, and if there's a soccer match or something going on, I expect everyone to be going crazy for it. And when people start singing the songs here, everybody knows the words to the lyrics, okay? The fifth. So how much, I mean, that's not much different than, than me being an American and being proud, you know, us singing the national anthem, all those things like that. Now I can say that we, like you guys said, we are over the top on it where, I mean, everywhere you look. I give an example, okay? In the background of this picture right here, I don't see a single Norwegian flag. But in the background of any picture I would have from something like this, I promise you I could find at least two or three. Especially on these boats. There's probably an American flag on every one of these boats. So I guess that's, that's the terms of what we mean whenever like we are just over the top on it. You know, that not that, that you guys aren't patriotic and not that you guys don't um, show patriotism towards your country or anything like that. But more or less, you get what I'm saying? Like, we're the overbearing type where we're just like, it's on our clothes. We got, you know, red, white, and blue sandals with red, white, and blue uh, shorts with red, white, and blue tank top and, you know, some red, white, and blue Star Spangled Banner sunglasses. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. I'm tracking now. See, I make my own conclusions. The thing that might shock you when you do come here to Norway is kind of the light and darkness because if you come here in the winter time it is dark 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 most of the time when you're here but on the other side of it in the summer it's light 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 i mean it's light until 11 o'clock at night here in oslo and it kind of be shocking if you're used to like going to bed at a normal hour and getting up at a normal hour because the sun's up at four in the morning so you're awake at four in the morning you're like oh the sun's up i'm Should cool with that stuff no, because nothing opens up for five or six hours. And that can be shocking for tourists is how long it stays light, but also how long it stays dark in the winter. And with that shock is the chilliness factor. I mean, it's the end of May and I have, well, yeah, I have a hooded t-shirt, I've got my quarter zip on and a coat, and I'm not hot. And I'm a fat guy with a fuzzy coating on me and I am not hot at all. And it is chilly here, so that darkness and lightness uh, extremes and the cold weather that comes so make sure you dress appropriately when you do come to come to Norway okay the sixth thing that might shock now I know you, you said this uh boy if you said it's the end of May which I know that we're now almost towards the end we're pretty much all what well, we are at the end of June but I mean it's a uh, 100 degrees here where I'm at um today I believe it was 98 degrees Fahrenheit obviously not Celsius 
ain't that crazy but yeah it was 98 degrees fahrenheit today and i think yesterday was like 95 it feels like 102 with the heat index you know somewhere like that um that's normal but that's kind of interesting if, if that's the end of may but then at the end of may i wouldn't need that much at the end of may though not here like it was more of an oslo thing because when you come here you hear how Norway is so equal, equal, and everyone's the same, and there's high taxes, and everybody's taken care of, and Stott Oil makes everything okay. But when you come to Oslo, you see a lot of beggars and a lot of bums that will be asking you for money. And if you're not used to that, you're kind of like shocked by it. Like, wait, I thought everything was supposed to be okay here. No, Oslo has the same problems as most major cities in Europe. There are bums and there are beggars here. So just get used to it. But it is safe, so you are okay with that. And that kind of leads into the seventh thing is, we are shocked here, everyone is equal. With these high taxes and high pain and all this kind of stuff, you don't have the extreme rich and the extreme poor. Yes, I did mention the, the beggars and things like that but for the Norwegian the Norwegians will say those aren't Norwegians okay but for the Norwegians that are here there is not a really big difference between the big boss and the little employee everyone's much more equal so you have I'll using your first names and these kind of things a lot more informality more direct questioning it's not so much that it's rude or anything I just that let's get to the point I don't have to have the niceties because we are equal and we are on the same footing okay and that can be kind of a shock for people that are coming to places for, you know where there is more of that hierarchy and people so just be prepared for that. The eighth thing you might find a little shocking here, but not really when you think about it, is how much the people really love skiing here. You know, when you watch the Olympics, you see, oh, Norway's won a ton of medals, but it's, how do they win all these medals? It's in skiing and shooting and all these things because Norwegians love to ski. Right outside of here, you've got this, the ski jump. You know, you can go see that. You can go skiing all around, whether you like downhill or cross country or whatever, they've got it here. And I mean, honestly, you can take a 10 year old Norwegian kid off the street. I bet he'd beat like 99% of the skiers in america like that yeah not him but yeah probably i was gonna say i thought he was gonna say 99 percent of the people in america like that because i i've never skied i've never snowboarded uh or anything like that in my life i would love to um like i said i'm going to colorado next month the towards the end of july actually to denver colorado but uh, it's the wrong time of the year so there won't be any snow um skiing snow you know um so yeah that's not gonna happen but i would love to go and that will be part of you know part of my life as i man i'm telling you this whole youtube thing is going to to really help me help me in, embrace this world so much more than what i've ever had and what I've ever experienced because there's so many things that I've wanted to, to experience and, and hope to, you know, one day get to do. And who knows, maybe now I'm, I, because of this, it, it's fueling that drive and it's fueling that want to do it. So with it fueling that drive and that want, you know, it, it's pushing me to want to do it and record it and, and share it. So I appreciate that. And I say I appreciate that because having, you know, the comments and the views and whatnot, obviously that entices me and, and pushes me to do it more because I see that there's people that are actually interested in um, something that I have to say. And that's kind of a big deal. Okay, so <laughs> those are some things. Rather you like it or not, rather it's a good comment or bad comment, I like to say all publicity is, you know, good publicity, rather it's good or bad. Um, it's the engagement is the fact that someone's actually engaging with, with my, my thoughts and, and the process that goes on in my brain and the way that I react to the other worlds, you know, I say the other worlds because I don't understand them. This is my world and this is completely different. So it's a different world to me. Thanks, but I like this setting, but let's go back to the castle to finish this off. So I, I just love this view so much I had to come back to it. Uh, the ninth thing that's going to shock you when you do come to Norway is, you know what? You actually can eat whale meat here. Now, people really? don't eat it every day. You don't see it on every menu, but you actually can find it in some places. I, I don't feel comfortable eating it, but that's my opinion, not yours. So if you want to try it, you can eat whale meat here. And that can be a bit shocking when you do see it on the menu and you're like, that's whale. Okay, so like I said, this video was made in 2016. We are now five years in advance for 2021, post, mostly post-coronavirus and everything else, and lots changed since Mr. Walter made this video. Um, one, 
how likely is it to find that on a menu? Two, have you ever tried it? Is it something that's actually like a legit thing? Obviously, it's a legit thing, but is it something you have tried? Is it something that you've had multiple times? Enjoy all those good things. You know, who, what, when, why, where, right? And, um, yeah, I don't know. Is it, I mean, is it, like a del- is it a delicacy to you guys? Or is it just something that is a part of the culture and a part of the way that, that is just a part of your lives? Um, but at the same time, it's not a everyday part. You know what I mean? It's, it's there, but it's not in primary front focus. Like if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so that's the ninth thing that might shock you is, yes, you can eat whale here. And the tenth thing that may shock you, and if you work here, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh, real quick. And what kind of whale? I'm just, again, I'm curious, because what kind of whale? You don't specify what kind of whale. So that would, that would also, you know, dictate things. If you get it, is in July, all, pretty much all of Norway that works in offices and stuff like that, they get the month off. Yes, people aren't working in July. They get their money in June to have July off and just relax and go if they want to see Norway or they want to travel. That's why you see Norwegians traveling all the time because they get this long break. And it's not everybody, but a lot of people do get it. It is kind of a shock when you're like, wait, you get the whole month of July off? Oh, yeah, yeah, we get tons of vacation time and a whole month off. I'm like, wow. Okay. I know, right? So those are 10 things that shock me about coming to Norway. What shocks you about Norway? Cool, Mr. Walter. I appreciate you, Walter's World. And, uh, yeah, and, you know, don't be afraid to give Mr. Walter a like, a thumbs up, and, you know, let him know that that I appreciate his content as well because it's very interesting, and, and he's going to help all, you know, he's going to help me um, also get answers from you, which will then help teach me uh, double time as to what, you know, what I t- can expect in the future and what to expect and, and just really things that I can learn and teach my kids, you know, and things about the... The, the other parts of the world and the countries that I can also defend, you know, against to other people, you know, friends and not friends, but people that that I may talk to or have conversations with that could bring up things about the way that the way that you guys supposedly live. And I said, well, hold on, hold on, hold on now. That might not necessarily be true because da 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 because I've read the comments and I've kind of figured out, you know, and, and got a, a general, maybe a baseline understanding, you know, of of these types of, you know, cultures or these types of um, ways that maybe are true or aren't true, where here's some of the facts that go along with it, but here's also the, the actual meat and potatoes and here's like the baby food. So, man, I got so much more that I could say, but I got to go... I actually, I gotta edit this video, and I, and I gotta go to bed because I got right now six and a half hours before I gotta get up and go to work. I still gotta edit this video and everything else. So, anyways, I've got more videos coming. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. And thank you for watching. It's me, Bryson P. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, that's great. That's wonderful. Give me a like and all that. Leave a comment, please. And if you don't, that's okay, too. And if you didn't like this video and you want to leave a thumbs down, you're more than welcome to. I'm not going to be ashamed of it. I'm not going to be mad at you or anything like that. You know that you're more than welcome to. That's part of just being who we are and having the individual right to think what we want to think. Okay, I'm done talking. It's me, Bryson P. Have a good day, good night, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and goodbye.